Hello guys and welcome to MCSH Open Computer Challenge. My name is MCSH and I have created this challenge for me to play and of course you can play too. Uh, in this series we're gonna play Open Computers using uh, we're gonna play Minecraft using Open Computers robots. Uh, basically this guy over here. Uh, let me read the rules for you. So, welcome to MCSH Open Computer Challenge. Happy coding. Uh, we're starting in a 5x5x6 five by five by house where the floor and roof are planks and the wall is glass and in the corners we have wood. So, these are planks, these are glass of course and the corners are wood. We are not allowed to walk anywhere where it does not have these conditions so that basically means we could extend the house but the robot has to build a situation similar to this there and uh, we have a bed a torch uh, we can remove one of these does I remove it? oh no okay I'll remove this manual again uh, let's put it down for now. A chest with 64 planks, 64 glass, an open computer's manual, and of course the game rules. A robot and a bed. So we're gonna play Minecraft. Oh, that cow's so loud. Let me. Friendly creatures. Okay, let's just start using our robots, which has given itself the name Harkness. I don't like that name, but it's alright. So, turning it on. Now, this is the open computer interface. It kind of simulates a Unix terminal, but um, not exactly. It has a Unix file system. You know, if you are familiar, you have the, your bin directory, your device directory, the home directory, libraries, temp directory, boot, your configuration files, the init file, which is basically your bootloader, the mount file, and the user directory, which you might know if you, are, if you have ever used uh, a Unix computer, basically, mm, like a Linux or a Mac OS. Anyway, uh, the most interesting thing here is this Lua binary in which we can program and run codes. So, Harkness over here is a robot, which means it can move. I'm, we can order it to go forward. We should have to have completion, I guess. Yeah. Go back. I think we can order it to go up and down as well as turn turn right and turn left of course I think it can use item as well uh, let me Oh, right, this is one of Minecraft. I was trying to use my scroll wheel. Use? No. Robot that. Oh, swing perhaps. Swing. Swing. Oh, yeah. And fix the item up as well. Anyway, this is Harkness, my friend, and uh, let's look at the environment. So we have a giant ocean over there, a tiny lake here, there are some cows around, uh, there's one over there, and I think I saw another one here, I can't find it now. Uh, there are some trees around which could be very handy, and the mountain over there, and I think there's another mountain 
over there somewhere yeah over there and this is our house so uh, let's get started now I must mention something in order to simplify things I have uh, enabled my operating system my real-life operating system to interact with the robots file this is my uh, editor I'm using Wii and uh, I can create files here let's demonstrate so I'm going to add a new file called me.txt in the home directory and I'm going to type something in uh, something if I save it and switch back to Minecraft in the home directory of the robots we're going to oh oh what's wrong hmm hmm this is very odd actually I hope this works oh no huh let's see what's wrong so yeah this should be home huh weird anyways uh, I thought this might work hmm okay let me sleep real quick and uh, I'll pause the video and look into this problem and come back with you.